you know, we, we, we talked all week. Uh, you know, we had to we had to be able to run the football, and uh, that's what we saw on the offensive side. Had to play hard on defense. I heard all week uh, how well they ran the ball, how hard they played on defense. That's us. That's our identity, and uh, that's what we did today. We played extremely hard on defense. We ran the football. Played the type of sycamore football uh, that these uh, young men have built their identity with, and that's not turn the football over and only have four penalties. And if you can do that, we got to still. Uh, finish drives. I'm disappointed in that. We'll get that corrected. Uh, special teams, it's all about field position, and I thought we did a great job with our field position on special teams. Questions, please. Heard uh, your defense set a big tone right off the beginning of the game and really in the first half by uh, only Eastern to one third down conversion. But three fourth downs that they failed to to reach, uh, including one you know, right before your kind of clinching series. After last week, you know, the tone that they were able to set today, is that obviously you won't like it as far as what you're going to Absolutely. Uh, I got full confidence in uh, Coach Wilson and the job he does and getting these guys to play hard. Uh, you know, a week ago, it was a week ago, and uh, we did not uh, get the job done getting off the field and getting the ball back to our offense. Uh, but this team took the challenge and uh, stood up to it. And, uh, of course, they did a remarkable job. They did a great job of having a plan when they brought in their backup quarterback because they've uh, shown that they quick kicked with him and they faked it. And uh, they had a great plan. Our defense had a great plan in place, uh, whether they were going to quick kick it or go for it. And uh, that was just one of the three stops that they made on fourth down. But that was a great job. You look at Eastern's running stats, McCleskey did get over 100 yards. Um, but 43 of them came on one run. Were you pretty happy with the run defense today? Yeah, we let them out. Uh, you know, we got him down, pinned down. Uh, you know, uh, Travis Schreiner does a great job. Uh, uh, you know, Pooch punting it down there inside the five yard line, and we let him out. You know, we talk about if we keep him down there, it's points. We're going to get points if we can stop him. We let him out. Now, uh, we were able to hold him, uh, but they got to drive it. That we should have come away with points instead of them driving the ball away. Then we let him out, and we had the ball on the minus 20. Uh, but when we got him down there, uh, that's one of the things defensively that uh, we got to get short of. Um, I thought they really played well, but when we got them backed up like we did uh, on a couple occasions, we got we got to get the ball back so our offense is short. Field. There were some gut check plays in the fourth quarter. Certainly, that series for the defense was one, and then the offense um, passing the test. You know, with their scoring series, uh, they were both big. But you know, which one do you think was bigger? The offense had been inconsistent through the game. Um, and they demonstrated some things in that final series that they hadn't been able to do throwing the ball. Um, you know, how important is that not only for this game but moving forward? Well, I think, you know, obviously a third down play was a huge play. That was great protection. Ryan stood in the pocket, took a whale of a hit, and Dante Jones made a heck of a catch. And, uh, um, but it's going to come, you know, and, uh, you know, there was no panic. You know, there uh, hadn't been any panic the last three, uh, three weeks. Uh, Never felt by, uh, I always felt going, you know, that last drive of Kansas, we were going to win the game. And felt we were going to drive down and win the game at Dayton, and today it felt the same way. And that's, that's the kind of confidence that our offense has. And, you know, and they're going to keep getting better, and I have no worries now. I'm not going to avoid the fact that we've got to improve on some things. We've got to finish drives. And, uh, you know, we have penalties that kill us at times. Uh, of course, they were, uh, we only had four of them, but, you know, when you have a drive and they Put you behind the chains and make it second and twenty or what have you. We got to, we can't do that after a sustained and drive. Yeah, there's a few offset that didn't count. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah thanks. Um, yeah, you're exactly right. They all, I've never seen somebody offset in yeah. Um But your belief has been unshaken in, in Ryan and mm -hmm. in this offense. And how unshaken has their belief been to go out there on the field? And you know, Ryan had struggled at times in this mm -hmm. game, but when it when the chips were down, you know, not only the pass you were talking about, but a couple other third down passes uh, were, were on the money. You know, I think it, it kind of, as the game went on, it got a little more confident. Uh, you know, the coach did a great job at halftime uh, getting with Ryan. What do you like? What are you seeing? And, uh, you know, that's the one thing about him is that he just, you know, he stays calm. And uh, he's seeing this or seeing that. It's great communication with our coaches, uh, with Ryan. And, uh, you know, we go back and forth and uh, win in the second half, and I think that's really where it's going to really settle in and make some throws. <coughs> you mentioned the, uh, the run game, and, you know, the was good. Ryan obviously ran well uh, for the option. Nick Sims.
Tim's Gibson mm -hmm. gives him a nice look too. Um, can you elaborate on how you know you, you can throw some different looks out there? It's not just that you're running the ball well; you can throw some different looks out there too. Yeah, there's no you know we've got uh, you know when we have Titus, which uh, you know I'm sure <coughs> knowing him he'll be back sooner than later. Uh, you got two backs that uh, run hard, and maybe aren't as big that can shift you, and then they, uh, they can you know, squirt through there. You got two bigger backs, you know, they're 200 pound plus, and uh, uh, you know, and you saw those guys come in there and run through some tackles, especially when you see, you know, when you're grinding it out, you get in the fourth quarter and you start to get tired, and that offensive line's pushing on you, and those running backs are still running hard. In your week of preparation, you know, big picture wise, this game was pretty big. Yeah. You know, if you don't play this game, you're in, you're in trouble. Mm -hmm. How much do you ignore that? Do you want the players to ignore that factor, or do you want them to embrace that? You know, I we didn't talk about them in the game. You know, we knew we were going to get uh, what we were going to get this week as far as uh, the preparation. Uh, you know, they came out and worked. It's probably you were there, Todd. You saw it. I thought it was as good a Tuesday practice we've ever had. And uh, Wednesday was good, uh, but it was warm. But they battled through it. And uh, but you know, I never really made a big emphasis on uh, on the game. It was about us um, and what we needed to do. And that was the focus. You know, uh, I talked to the offense. I said, your identity is to run the football. And that's where it's going to start. If you run the football, it'll open up other things. Defensively, you're known for getting to the ball. If you do that, it'll open up some other things. Special teams, it's always about field position. And that was really our, our main focus all week. And uh, if we did those three things, you know, we would win the game. Any injuries that have you concerned coming out of this? I saw some players come up and then go back in. I no, I. Of course, I haven't met with Kellen and the doctors yet, but uh, you know, knock on wood, I think you know we're starting to get guys back. I, I still say it all along, you know, we're as about as healthy as we can be right now. And uh, of course, you'll know a little bit more tomorrow when you wake up. But uh, uh, you know, for the most part, everybody got back up, and went back in, so that's a positive. Coach, Stick, Coach, sticking with the injuries, just talking about you know your real next man up philosophy. Mm -hmm. This entire team is. How impressed have you been with you know some key guys that have gone down for you that the next guys have not only just stepped into that role but they've maybe even exceeded expectations? Well, you know, uh, you know, I'll use uh, Isaiah Edwards as an example. Isaiah Edwards, uh, in my opinion, should be one of the top offensive linemen in the country. He didn't play today. Joe Vasquez jumped right in there and did an awfully good job. Uh, the young men in this program have bought into that. Uh, everyone has a role. Role is very, very important, and at any time you got to be ready. And you know, I talked to the, all the sophomores this week, and you know, you hear that cliche, you know, the sophomore slump. We had we had some guys that were sulking, you know, uh, and it wasn't a sophomore slump. It was guys, you know, feeling sorry for themselves. You got to be ready because you're gonna be, your number's gonna be called. And uh, their answer, a lot of those guys jumped in there today. I saw a lot of those sophomores running. Chris Childers was running. Dwayne Thompson was out there. I mean, I could go on with Joe Vasquez. You just don't know when your number's going to call. Be called, but it's going to be. And when it does, it's your responsibility to be ready. And like Todd was saying earlier, I mean, last week we were in here and you talked about, you know, those three and outs really killed your offense. It really stalled everything. 50% on third downs, that's a huge improvement from a week ago. It really is. They did a good job. You know, you get to, your, to a point where it's manageable. It really helps, you know. Uh, uh, you know, you're dealing with anywhere from third to three to six, you know, your percentages should be higher. And, and that's obviously what you're doing on first and second down. And uh, uh, I think that's where we've really been improved or improved this week. Nathan uh, else, go ahead. Yes, uh, one I wanted to crack, congratulate you on your uh, strong victory. The question I had was for you was, what was the team's mentality going into this victory? And what mentality is the team looking forward to emulate moving forward? Well, I think the main focus is, uh, you know, we got the first one. And now we got to get the second one. We got to go two and zero. We didn't win the first. We're going to take this one, and we're going to approach it because we have an off week, and uh, we have to go two and zero, two and two, however you look at it, uh, for the off week before we go into the conference. And uh, that's what I told the team. You know, come tomorrow, uh, start game week. We got to have a great Sunday, great Monday, and so on and so on, all the way up till one o'clock on Saturday. Uh, but it starts tomorrow, and coming in, and, uh, getting your treatment. And, Put, watching the film and moving through it and getting in the study table tomorrow night, but it starts tomorrow. That's good. Okay. And um, with that, 
do you feel like there's any adjustments that need to be made before your next appearance on the field? Yeah, you know, we'll look at the film. Um, you know, you don't ever know until you see it. Uh, as far as adjustments, you're always, you know, we're going to do what we're going to do. I mean, we're, gonna, um, we're not going to change defenses. We're not going to change offenses. Uh, we know what we are. Uh, we just got to get better at some of the things that we're doing. Thank you. Go ahead. Coach, uh, congrats on the win. I just wanted to ask, uh, what are some of the key uh, concepts that you assess during practice to really just get the guys to energy up? We already saw on kickoff how those guys just jumping on the mound and getting hype on the uh, sideline. You know, I'm not a big gimmick guy or believe in all that. I, mean, you know, I believe in playing the game, but I do believe when you, when you do. Uh, you know, when I played, you know, kickoff that was that was what my job was. You know, I had a, a role and it was to run down the kickoff. And uh, when you're running down the kickoff, that's momentum, and the momentum means it's either the start of the game, start of the half, or after a score. And you should be excited because you just did something positive. And I just didn't feel the energy that you needed to do to be celebrating after a, after a touchdown or after a field goal or start of the game like we needed to do. And it uh, uh, wasn't hard to do. You know, I explained it that way. They, they realized that, hey, man, we just scored a touchdown. You should still be celebrating. And, uh, you know, see, they were easy. They bought right in. They enjoyed it. And, you know, they had a little fun out there. And, uh, I think the thing we went with that I, I felt was uh, very critical is uh, we were going to get the 11 best guys out on the kickoff. And uh, I went with it, went over it with uh, uh, Coach Abrams, and I said, I want Jonas Griffith on it, I want starters on it, I want our best players on it. It's a defensive play, we're going to start this thing. And uh, if you're going to be on that kickoff team, you're going to earn it. And if you want it, you got to go earn it. And uh, so we put a lot of our best players on that team and it showed.